Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to the, the channel. channel. Today, we, as you can hear, are at the zoo on a very busy day. Yeah, um, we're at the Riverbank Zoo in Columbia, South Carolina. So come tag along with us while we get wild. Yeah, come get lost with us. So here's the outside of the Riverbanks Zoo and Garden. Apparently there's tons of kids here today. I like these sculptures. They're recycled pieces. They got a bunch of giraffes. It's kind of cool. Here's your prices. 25 for adult, 22 for children. Some discounts. Look at the cute little autos. They're getting their morning stretch and runs in. They're so cute. Here it goes. Hi, buddy. Sup, y'all. Sup. He's in his little burrow. Yeah, the otters definitely are super cute. They're just hanging out. He's asleep. With his food bowl. That's cute. Just hanging out. So we really do need to get a zoom lens, but you can see them in the distance. There's two of them. There's one hanging out on the little structure, and then there's one against the wall back there. And in case you want to know a little bit more about baboons, they spend a significant amount of their time grooming, and that indicates their status within the group. Apparently, the dominant male is groomed more often than any other individual. As it should be. This is the way. They also sleep sitting upright, and that's why they have that red spot. It's more like a leathery texture to it, and they sleep sitting upright. Good to know. Mm -hmm. Neat sculpture we found along the way of an orangutan. Sponsored by Bilo and Kellogg's. Two little lions. As you can see, the audience reaction is. One thing I've learned from my day at the zoo is there's children who understand the appropriateness of when to use their loud voice and children who don't. They're very pretty. Yeah, they're cool. The Komodo dragon. There are actually stories of these killing people. And apparently their mouth is so dangerous that uh, when they bite you, it's guaranteed to get infected. Another one over there. They dangerous. 
Yeah. Looks like we're about to eat the children. Like decorations and stuff. They clearly don't like each other, by the way. They're in separate rooms. Right, they're separated. I don't know if they're like, if they're like a species that only comes together like when they mate, or if like male to male is like very aggressive towards each other. I don't really know that much detail, so if you do, you know about Komodos, tell me, because I'm interested. Yeah, apparently, like I said, they might actually send you into shock because it lowers like blood pressure and stuff. Oh, he's tired. So there's an aviary, but it actually costs more money to go to it. But you can go in and interact with like parrots and stuff and feed them. It's kind of cool. Like I'm attacking the little girl. <laughs> no, I'm just saying hello and trying to get food. They're super cute. There's a koala hanging out in the tree. Apparently, it is a mama koala. It's supposed to be quiet because there's a baby on board. What do you think of the koala, Nacy? Cool. I heard they're also mean. They look very cute, but I think they're not nice. Koala. Maybe they're the Yoda of the forest? I think so. All right. My little guy. Look at their hands. He's like completely holding on to the tree there. Yeah, it looks like it's nappy time. I can say I blame them. Yeah. I do like to nap a lot. So this is definitely the Disney world of South Carolina because there's a rock climbing wall, there's a carousel. There's like a like a playground place back there too. Oh yeah, there's a kids' playground. It looks like there's some of those high like team building activities even behind it too. And then there's a bunch of places where you can go walk too. There's a bunch of trails that shoot off of the zoo. All right, let's head to the next place. Yeah, I was just gonna go see what else there was that you can add on. I know you can feed giraffes here. So I was just gonna see. Okay, so an interesting thing about the extra attractions like the bird feeding, giraffe feeding, the rock climbing wall, the carousel, um, everything is like another charge, but it's $2 per person except for the rock climbing wall. I think he said that that was not priced correctly. Um, so basically you go to one of the other booths within the park and you get a little extra card that puts credits on it and then you can take those credits anywhere. So there is a botanical gardens attached to Riverbanks. Let us know in those comments below if you'd like us to go. And it's about a three tenths of a mile walk back that way. So it's like a whole separate area from the zoo. All right, so they do have a petting zoo here with goats. I think mostly different kinds of goats. <laughs> um, it is a part of that $2 per person um, upcharge. Yeah, and if you want to see our Hemingway goats at the Hemingway Park, Check out that in the upper right hand corner. The goats are running away from the children. Oh, God, Can't say I blame them. I too don't want to be. Have to deal with that. We got some little piggies. They're just chilling. Oh, look. It's a lizard. Haven't seen one of them in like forever. It's a pig. Bonus footage. All right, we got a turkey hanging out with the other goats back here. Uh, fun Tur fact, I had foster parents that had a turkey and that turkey was not nice. When you came out to the turkey's pen, he would jump up and kick out his legs to the fence. And like, he was very aggressive. You talking about me? Did you talking about me? No, it wasn't you, Mr. Turkey. Oh, it was some other friend of yours. I don't think he's talking about me. Don't make me puff up. I'm gonna puff up. But yeah, like, aren't turkeys like ugly? They're not very pretty. But they taste good. Enjoy the commentary. Those kids were mean. That's okay. The goats are like, what's up with those kids? 
Why are those kids so mean to the turkey? All right, so this is the barn where they keep all of the goats. Oh, they have rabbits sometimes, it looks like. This is sponsored by the Farm Bureau. But uh, let's go check out this guy. We'll get a little closer in a second, but there's the alpacas. They're just hanging out, chilling outside. Chilling like a villain. I don't know any facts about alpacas, do you? Nope. They're very fluffy. My sister and her ex-boyfriend wanted to have like an alpaca. I remember that. That did not go anywhere. They're kind of cute. They're like llamas, but. Hi, buddy. The alpaca does not look happy. But he's still, he's still running. Like his little underbite there. Mm -hmm. There's also an ostrich over there. Mm-hmm. All right, so again, we don't have the zoom lens, so we can't get super close, but there's two zebras back there. <laughs> and then there's also an ostrich right there. And right there. Yep, there's one right up by the front. Which nobody's really talking about. They're all talking about the zebras. Okay. I always find it fascinating with the striped zebras. They're kind of like horses, but also kind of like cows. Aren't they not, they're not a part of the horse family, right? Uh, they're a part of the, an, they're closer to antelopes, I think. Something uh, like that. Oh, let us know in the comments. Maybe you know more than this. It's been a minute since I've been on the Animal Kingdom Safari, so. Let's go get Mr. Ostrich. Hi. Hello. How's it going? Having a good day out here? There's a lot of kids, right? Check out his big feet. They're kind of like dinosaur-esque. They are kind of like dinosaur-esque. I feel like they feel like ostriches are pretty close to dinosaurs. They're kind of some of the bigger birds. It's fascinating. I've never really seen their feet up close. Mm -mm. They keep you pretty far away on the safari at Animal Kingdom. Yeah, that's cool. It's cute. Oh, these are, these are and how long their neck is too. Mm -hmm. It almost looks like one of those like bendy straws. There's the gator. He's just hanging out back there. It's an alligator, not a crocodile, folks. I mean, yeah, and crocodiles have longer snouts. And their teeth are different. Well, obviously if they have longer snouts, their teeth will be different. And The sign literally says American alligator. So this is my mom's favorite animal was the giraffe. Really? Yep. I didn't know that. It's got cute little ears. Why was it the giraffe? Yeah, so she always said that there was her favorite animal when we went to the zoo. <laughs> All right, you can see them feeding them. Super cute. Some of the early pictures of the giraffes. Just hanging out in the field. And here's the line for the giraffe feeding. Here's the different giraffes. Oh, that's weird. You're hungry. Yeah. That's so cute. Yeah, that's why That was cool. That was really weird. Their tongue is like a like actually a lot softer than like a cat, but you can still feel kind of some of the grit. Um, now it's Gary's turn. 
<laughs> oh, that's a big tongue, buddy. Oh, you got such a cute tongue. Oh, you got a friend. We're almost there. We're almost there, sweetie. Just do pieces. Are you ready for him? <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Thanks, guys. So this is definitely worth it if you're thinking about what to buy. It's only two bucks per person, but it's definitely a fun little experience. They give you like four pieces of different lettuces. And always kind of look for a lull. It was really busy when we got here, and now there's like nobody in the line. And it looks like they feed from like 10 to 1.30, so yeah, just... If it's busy, I guarantee you can probably circle back around and it won't be as busy. But that was that was really cool. I, I thought it was really fun. Um, and their tongues are like, not quite like a cat's. It's, it's, and they're really long. Yeah, and they're super long. Kind of slimy on the bottom. I mean, I guess. I mean, they're just, yeah, it was kind of like a cat's tongue. Really sweet though. They're really nice. They just kind of wait for the food. They don't kind of get aggressive or anything. The other one came over for you. He's like, hey, I see you got food. Yeah. Uh, you feed me at the same time as you feed my friend. <laughs> or maybe you just feed me. <laughs> He's cute though. Yeah, they're very cute. Very docile. So yeah, definitely a recommend from us. Well, someone's doing the uh, obstacle course. Yeah, it's apparently give you a $7. General mission, $5 members, and $3 if you have an Explorer's wristband. Oh, I love me some tortoises. It's sad that every time I see a turtle, even though they're a tortoise, I just think of Donatello, Raphael, Leonardo, or Michelangelo. I don't know if I was going to say Raph twice. Look at them scrub it out. Can you imagine they can live to be over like a hundred years old? Mm-hmm. It's crazy. They are definitely like people shouldn't buy them for sure. Like they're definitely an animal that will probably outlive you. Hmm. Most parrots will outlive you too, so. That's so cute. Wish he'd turn around, but he's he's not he's not in for selfies today. Yeah, he's cool. He's giving us his eye. Oh that guy. Oh, I didn't even see that guy there. <laughs> I was just looking at that guy back there. Nice, he's not too aware. I'm She's sorry. only looking at this guy over here. I'm sorry. You know, this I, is the guy I we started offended with. you. I yeah. apologize. See, he's turning. He asked him to. He's like, okay, I'll show you a little face. But I'm, I'm busy getting some food. They're the African spurred tortoise. In case you were wondering. All right, my armored puppies. Ooh, look at him get up. He's a beast. Yeah. If you want to help us invest in lenses, definitely check out that Amazon list in the description. That one's playing down there. Yeah, it was just of. bumped him in the butt. It's kind of like cleaning him off. Yeah. That's fascinating. And it moves by itself, which is even more fascinating. Oh, it just bumped the other guy in the butt. Oh, bumped him again. He's like, don't bump me. Yeah, they they can't really see anything far away. <sighs> Which is interesting, which is probably why they're so tough, because they, they're not going to see a predator from far away. And then they've got that horn on the front. Look at him doing something to the ground face, trying to like clean his horn off, I'm guessing. We definitely want to go back to Animal Kingdom and do the uh, living with the rhinos or whatever mm -hmm. that is. We get to go backstage with them. Yeah, I think when we go back to Disney, we're going to try and do more backstage stuff, maybe not so much in the park theme park stuff because we've done that to like nauseam almost. I mean, we still enjoy the parks. We do. We love the parks. What kind but of statement is that nauseam? Well, like we've done it a lot. Anyways. Anyways, but we've done the parks a lot, but we haven't really ever been able to do like a lot of the behind the scenes, like backstage stuff. So I think that may be what we focus on. Back away, it's like, oh. I don't know about you. That's Bill. So we just talked to the zookeeper person, that's Bill. And apparently one of the lady rhinos over there, which is why they're so standoffish, is pregnant. It's a, Winifred, a, which is the smaller one. Hashtag inside tips, baby. And Kendra's the bigger one to the left, and she was rescued from poachers. Yeah, and she doesn't like Bill very much. So she protects Winifred from Bill, because Bill's horny. Apparently Bill's shifty. And horny. <sighs> She's like, no, Bill, no, no poutine for you. Oh, they just threw some lettuce out over there. Yep, see, she don't like, she don't like Bill. 
I was like, I'm gonna go get some food. See you later, bitches. Kendra's like, I don't know what's going on. I'm just here, just having a good old time. And this, this, this thing likes to hit me sometimes. <laughs> 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 but they brought Bill specifically because they wanted to breed the rhinos. Yeah. Now they're going to put some more food out for the ladies. Hit the gorillas. Yeah, there's like six of them in here. Three, yeah. Seven? There's seven of them actually. They're cute. But also mean. Oh, well, they're going over to their playset. I think. Yeah, they're following who's ever in charge. We well, that one just pooped. I don't know if you can see it because it was kind of far away, but there's a walking and poop. It's still pooping. Still pooping up there. They're a little startled because they're doing instruction in the cage over, but they're golden lion tamarind. There's another one right next door, too. We're just chilling, hanging out. He is a fishing cat, and fishing cats are excellent swimmers, similar to tigers and jaguars. They will enter the water to capture prey. He's cute. Mm-hmm. He seems very anxious, though. Probably because of noise. He's got his path that he walks. Hopefully he doesn't feel trapped. Not a lot of water for a fishing cat. There he goes, back into his cage. It's kind of hard to say, but you can kind of see their tails, like, yeah, right he's a there. Ring tail um, lemur. The lemurs, they're sleeping. They're kind of in the back corner, though. Every time I see a lemur, I think of it as Madagascar. Mm -hmm. I like them moving, moving. They're kind of hard to see, but they're kind of. They're back right here. I'm going to try and get it to focus on them, but it's a squirrel monkey. He's really little, and he's just kind of sleeping in his yellow basket up there. Mm -hmm. And then over there. And that basket. Yeah, it looks like they're from South America. And then there's another one kind of in the middle, just kind of hanging out on the branches. But there's a red ruffed lemur right back there. He's a lot bigger than the other lemur. Yeah. It's bath time. More gorillas. Oops, sorry. The one looks like she's just down with everyone's shit at this point. Mm -hmm. She's just looking at him like, what? Why are you sleeping? So this is the back side of the gorilla exhibit. We were back over there. And then that was that wood post that we passed. And this is kind of on the back side of that. Gosh, look at his hands, they're so big. Mm -hmm. It's snack time for this guy. He doesn't look very happy. He's also all by himself for some reason. He might be like quarantined for some reason too. Yeah, 
maybe he hurt himself or had a procedure or something and they have to monitor him closer. Come on. We don't know. Whoa. Whoa. We got kangaroos back there. Kangaroos are like muscular animals. Yeah. And they also are not super nice creatures if you fuck with them. So don't don't screw with kangaroos. Guess the most of them are inside. I think he's the only one that looks like it's out. Mm-hmm. Enjoying some snackies. Nice. Got some birdies. There's a little baby birds in the nest up there. Yeah, the one the one that you're looking at is a laughing kookaburra. Kookaburra and sits in the old gum tree. They're the king of the bushes. He's and then there's a pied imperial pigeon next to him. Those are what those are. And you guys can't really see them, but there are actually little tiny baby birds up in the nest up there poking their heads out, which is kind of cute. Yeah. But I don't think you guys are going to be able to see it, but they're way up there. Oh, he's the blue-faced honey eater. Interesting. Probably sitting on his eggs. Yeah. Not one's yelling at you. Uh, I see him. Yeah, he's Lori right up there. In this little enclosure. And then way back here is the tawny frog mouth. And I think they had these guys. If I remember correctly, they had these guys at the zoo in Phoenix. I think so. The tawny frog mouth. They're cute. Kind of look like owls. Yeah, they do look a lot like owls. Doesn't say they're like related to them, but they do kind of resemble an owl. Apparently they're supposed to look like a tree stump to hide. I don't know if you guys can see him, but he's kind of tucked away back in the back and it's the honey. The, the blue faced, faced honey eater. eater. Yeah. Whatever that is. <laughs> blue faced honey eater, that's his name. It's cute. Oh, he's stretching. And then the mama bird is in the nest, it looks like. So Doing all the hard work. <laughs> Doing all the hard work. Yeah, I'll know how much I love me some penguins. Penguinos. Penguinos. It's kind of hard to see, but you can occasionally catch the shadows. It's just how the water's hitting uh, with the light. But yeah. the sea lions are, are out there swimming. Occasionally you'll see their head poke up out of the water. Yeah, if you look in our, was it Pike's Place video in Seattle? We got to see them on the docks. Yeah. Yeah, I think they're a little bit easier if we go up. Okay. You can see them. All the way in the back. Let's see if they decide to come pay us one more visit. Here comes one. I see him. Here he comes. I was like, hey, that's people. A, oh, it's a walrus. Hey, people. But it's not. It's a seal. He's big. He's a chunk of monka. Back there. Oh, I think he's coming back. He's a big guy. Like, he's a big seal. Oh, look. There's, a, there's one right there. They're definitely pretty big, for sure. She disappeared. Okay, so the spotted one is the seal. I think. <laughs> He's a scooter and a mover. So there's a sea lion and seals in here. Oh. And there's, it tells you right there what the difference is. So seals are five to six foot long. Sea lions are up to eight feet long. 850 pounds for a sea lion to 300 pounds for a seal. So basically a sea lion is just a bigger seal. All right, so there's a whole actual inside observatory as well. Um, 
where you can watch them kind of swim around and kind of out of the elements. Something cool about them is apparently they just bite and swallow too. So they just bite it and swallow it. There's no chewing. It's kind of cool. Alright, so that's the the seal is like the white one and that's a sea lion. I do want to see that when we go to San Fran one of these days. Yeah, it's Pier 39. Sea lions. They say it's so noisy there, it's not even funny. We got more Gary's kind of jam. We got more tortoises. These ones are the Galapagos tortoises. Yes. What was his name in Kung Fu Panda? Master Wei Fong? I believe he's a Galapagos turtle. He's like, I'm going to get up that hill. I'm going to give me some grass. It's all about the climb. <laughs> look how big his neck is. That is crazy. He doesn't look real. Mm -mm. He just he looks is like the... a rock. <laughs> it looks like some kind of sculpture. He's huge. Holy cow. And I'm sure he doesn't move very fast either. <laughs> he moves as fast as he needs to. He is cute. I'm amazed by his size. And, and in comparison, the ones that we were just showing you, yeah. we're probably like one tenth of his size, maybe even smaller. Yeah. I mean, it's crazy. He's huge. We'll kind of, I'll try and get a side shot of him too. There's kind of like a side shot of him as well. I mean, he's at least the length of one, two, three, four, five. He's good five foot long? Yeah, easily. Big boy. He's I can't pretty. imagine what he weighs. That's super cool. I think there might be another one down there too. Oh uh, yeah, he's yep, on a rock. Yep. Yeah, he's hanging out on the rock. Either rock. that or he's on another tortoise. One of the two. He's trying to come back from the brink, but he just doesn't understand the process, I believe. He's a little confused. <laughs> he's a little confused. And the other one's like, just leave me alone. Well, I can only imagine like the weight on top of them too because they weigh a lot so yeah i would imagine the shell kind of cushions a lot of the mm, there's, there's a, a bee that i don't want to be a part of but yeah these that guy over there is massive he's probably like maybe half the size of the guy that's up the hill and i can't tell the one that's under him because you know it's a little when i was a young barboza he kind of looks a little bit like a pig. He looks like a warthog. Without the snout, the uh, tusk. With the tusk, yeah. That's what I said when I was a young barbosa. He's, he's digging. <laughs> kind of looks like an anteater, too. Mm-hmm. Like a little elephant. <sighs> Mixed with a pig. He's like a man bear pig. In case anybody's wondering where man bear pig is, he's here. <laughs> Warthog, antelope, anteater, something, I don't know. So Asia, you need to be stepping up your game if this is your largest tortoise. 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 <laughs> Charles Barkley, yeah. Um, it is also critically endangered. Yeah, he only goes up to 100 pounds. In comparison to the other ones, which had to be at least 800. Yeah. Easy, five to 800. They also build their nests above ground. Good to know, that may also, they, it also might make them easy prey, I don't know. A lot of tortoises here. Yeah. It's oh, the making, circle of life. Oh, making, making babies. Oh, the children watch on. We gotta show them to the other tortoise so we can figure out what he's doing. All right. There's a ton of them in here though. Yeah. Well, that's how they get so many. Maybe they replicate like turtles, they're trying to catch up with rabbits. I mean, you know, the tortoise and the hare. Oh God, that one's, that one's humping too. Oh, uh, he's trying. Oh. Like the other one. Like I said, if you hit the wrong hole, just keep trying. They're just doing circles on each other. It could be a dominance thing rather than a sex thing. True. 
Obviously the one's a sex thing, but. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, you always hope you don't look that bad when you're doing it, right? He got a green snake. He's an Amazon Basin Emerald Tree Boa. He's just hanging out up there. And then the other snake that, oh, that's the end. Here's a little blue. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I wonder if that's the poisonous. Oh, yeah. The blue frog. I think these might be the poisonous blue dart frogs. But I don't know. Um, but yes, here's the other. Getting ready guy. to ambush us. He's apparently the largest venom, venomous snake in the Americas. It's called the Bushmaster. Damn. But he's not endangered, so. Can't really see him very well. Oh, I see him, yeah. Well, apparently, he was discovered in 2001. That's crazy. So we haven't known about him for very long. And he is endangered, which makes sense as to why they never saw him. Trust in me. My anaconda. My anaconda. I wonder why they call him a green anaconda. He doesn't look very green in this lighting. It just says it helps him blend, but... It's kind of gray, though. I don't know. What do you guys think? So this is the green tree python, and it's from a little island that's above Australia. We've actually seen these uh, quails out in public that you're gonna see in here. Oh yeah. You can see them on the regular. Yeah, they come to the park yeah. all the time. I don't think I've ever seen the owls. I see them when we live in Florida a ton. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> Florida. It's like all of the western continental United States and North America and some South America and then Florida. That's funny. All right, that's the parrot up there at the top. He is... And the, he's yelling at the quails. That's why they keep yelling, because the quails are running back and forth. I would just like to say this room is way too humid to be the desert, so... <laughs> All right, so these are the juvenile Galapagos tortoises that grow to be as big as that guy that was outside that we showed you earlier. Oh, wow. And they are endangered species. So crazy that these guys grow to be as big as those guys outside. All right. The little babies. This is the Cayman Island blue iguana. Did you ever know anybody who had an iguana? Yes. Didn't even have one. So Cayman Island iguana. We were considering going to the Cayman Islands to hide money. What is your thoughts on that? Good idea, bad idea? Stick your tongue out for yes, no tongue for no. Stay still and breathe. Just say we should visit. Well, I guess we visit. <laughs> All right. So when you when you live on the East Coast, people talk a lot about about the West and the desert. And these are Segura cactuses, which we learned about at the Desert Botanical Gardens. And for them to sprout the side pieces, they have to be over like a 50 to 80 years old already. Yeah. And they harvest the tops uh, for fruit when they come up and it was really fascinating so you guys should check out that video we did a tour where they talked all about these cactuses um but yeah fun thing to know these are actually more in arizona than they are in nevada yeah so take quails apparently that's also fun to note as well also my favorite cactus is the prickly pear oh we got some more pretend desert life here. Like cactuses aren't really in Nevada, which is weird. This is more like you find in like Arizona, New Mexico, maybe a little bit of Texas. I never thought I would be an expert on desert life, but those I believe are like agaves 
And then those hand, big hand looking ones are the prickly pears. Yeah, there's a big old snake back there. And then there's some snakes. Yeah, one's a diamondback rattler, one's a Mojave rattler. The Arizona black rattlesnake doesn't look to be out, or the red one. You can tell like their heads are like diamond shaped for the diamond back. Mm -hmm. I don't see the black or red one though. Oh, there he is. Always look where you're walking in the desert. Yes, Jesus. We would have stepped right on that little bastard. <laughs> that would not have ended well. No. There's a little guy kind of hiding out in here. He's a spiny-tailed agamem. Um, he's from North Africa and the Middle East. My sister had a beardie that she rescued from the... Uh... There's a frilled lizard, though. Okay. I think there's another beardy up there. There's another frilled lizard right there. I don't see the blue tongue skin. Oh, there he is. Oh, yeah, there he is. Just hanging out back here in the corner. And then there's another one, like, yeah. way back there. Okay. Are any of them poisonous? Doesn't say. Doesn't say. Does not say. All right, going on to this next little. Let's kill the oh. monsters in there, and there's one on the ground. Oh, he's moving! Oh, I see him. He's back there. Oh, and there's a chuck wall up there on the top. A chuck wall is from basically where we live, sort of. Interesting. I haven't seen any chuck wallas before, I don't think. Yeah. Where was the. Where is the Gila monster? Oh, back there. Okay. Yeah, that was under the tree branch. And last but not least, we've got a python. Black headed oh. python? Oh, and there's also one up there. Right on the rock. There's two, actually. Way up there. It's the same. There's a lot of that going on. Yeah. It is springtime, so. It's the oscillated mountain viper. This is probably the most active snake we've seen so far. They were actually thought to be extinct for 140 years. Apparently they were found. I'm guessing he's hungry. I don't know if you can see him, but he's literally staring right at us. Oh, there goes his head. All right, so we've entered the aquarium part. So we got some of the, like, blue fish, like, dory. A bunch of different kinds of fish. We got some more, like, smaller tanks. Nemo! 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 So this area did just open, so some of the stuff on the signs isn't here yet. But they do have some sharks. Cortez angelfish. These are always my favorite guys. The jellies. Move slow, babe. Very low light. Gotta move slow. I love a pet jellyfish. Boo. 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 I don't know how hard they are to like keep alive. So. Boo. Ooh. Ooh. I find it fascinating how they kind of like open and close to move. Mm -hmm. It's the alligator snapping turtle, everybody. Okay. 
largest freshwater turtles in North America. And they bite. We got another active snake. They've all been pretty docile. I'm guessing that's the timber rattlesnake? That one's active too, over there in the right corner. Yeah. Birder. Birder. Yeah, he's definitely a rattlesnake, I can tell by his tail, but I don't know what kind. Interesting enough about this zoo is they have an aquarium, reptile conservation center, and a botani botanical garden, all for the admission price. All right, folks, this is the American Flamingo. And apparently they feed upside down. And they get their color from their diet um, because they eat a lot of shrimp. A whole lot of squawking going on back there. Uh, they're actually fighting. Yeah, they're fighting. It's not just squawking. <laughs> See? <laughs> the ones with the feather are like pecking the other ones. <laughs> Maybe it's mating season for them too. I don't know. There's a whole lot of mating going on today at the zoo. Whole lot of mating going on. All right, so last on our list is the birdhouse here. So we're gonna go check this out. We made it. For the penguins. So something that we learned that was interesting about penguins is some of the penguins like dance and stuff for shiny rocks. And some of them will actually have sex with other penguins just to get shinier rocks. Mm -hmm. Would you be one of those penguins, Macy? Probably. Gives new meaning to that movie about the penguin and the pebble. That was the real story. I always feel like the ones with the little hairs on them look angry all the time. Mm -hmm. I'm angry. I'm so nice. But I'm angry. It does smell like fish in here. <laughs> it does, yes. These guys are cool. Yeah, they're apparently Victorian crowned pigeons. Do you think all pigeons want to be the crowned pigeons? They don't look very pigeony. No, they kind of look closer to like a peacock. Yeah. Or maybe a turkey. No, not quite as big as a turkey, but maybe no. closer to like a peacock. Yeah. They're very cute. So here's all the different penguins. Not all of them are here, but uh, there's a different number of penguins. Yeah, there's an island in Africa. I believe it's in Africa where you literally go to this beach and like the penguins just like, they're there. And it's a public beach, you can just access it and you can literally just lay in the sand with penguins. Life goal of mine. Um, but yeah. yeah. And they're definitely the African penguins. See African penguins in Africa? It could also be the RC, which is the rock hopper at your island that you're talking about. Mm -hmm. The emperor is like the really cool one, but they live like in like Antarctica, Antarctica and the really cold places. The king penguin looks pretty close to the emperor too. If you they're just like a little bit different color. So, what was your favorite part of the Riverbanks Zoo? Obviously, the penguins. The penguins were my favorite, but second to that, I have to say. Maybe seeing the lions, the lions were really cool as well. What were your favorite parts of the zoo? So my favorite exhibit, definitely the giraffe feeding is worth it. That $2 per person is really worth it if you want to do the giraffe feeding. And then I think my second favorite was the rhinos. They were really cool. We got the opportunity to talk with one of the people who work here and gave us a lot of like the inside scoop on the rhino baby and stuff like that. So it was really awesome. Overall though, this place is definitely worth a visit and definitely cool to check out. And if you want us to come back and go to the gardens that are attached to it too, let us know in those comments below. All right, so that's gonna conclude our trip here to the Riverbanks Zoo. Yeah, it was really awesome. Uh, it's a pretty big zoo yeah. for being in uh, Columbia, Columbia, South Carolina. Like it really is. You wouldn't expect it to be here, but it's really nice. Yeah, we had a nice day. The weather was perfect. Honestly, I have to say in the summertime, it'll probably be a little hot, um, but today the weather was perfect. It wasn't too hot, not too cold. But don't, if you're coming in the summer, make sure you wear sunscreen and bring lots of fluids. 
Yeah, and definitely come probably around like 10 because that's when they look like they're feeding all the animals. Mm -hmm. Like the lions and stuff just came out as we got here. So definitely a legit tip come around 10 o'clock. Yeah, and definitely splurge on the giraffe feeding because that was a lot of fun. Yeah, super worth it. It's so cool. Their tongues are so fascinating. Really, really fun experience and worth it yes. to be only like $2. So if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. And make sure you ring that notification bell so that way you get notified when we do at least three videos a week. And we'll come and get you for the next one. Ain't that the truth, baby? Bye, everybody. Bye.